California is blazing the trail for EV adoption yet again. Tesla may have a new lithium partner, and a long-requested feature may be coming to Tesla soon. This is Tesla Tidbits episode number 356 for January 30th, 2018. We begin with Electrek today, reporting that California isn't done trying to spur EV adoption. Already the undisputed leader of both EVs on the road and policy to encourage this, Governor Jerry Brown signed a new set of executive orders last week, adding on to California's already aggressive EV adoption strategy. While the goal of the state was to have 1.5 million zero-emission vehicles on the road before 2025, the new orders state that a new goal has been set to put 5 million zero-emission vehicles on the road by 2030, more than three times the previous goal with less than two times the time to do it. California already offers a $2,500 rebate for the purchase of a new zero-emission vehicle, but these orders would see a $2.5 billion investment add-on to this, aiming to put 250,000 vehicle charging stations in service by 2025. At the moment, the state has tallied 350,000 of its 5 million car goal, which only puts it 7% of the way toward the goal. However, the continued rebate benefit, a push to make infrastructure ubiquitous, and the general acceleration toward EV adoption should see them easily make this goal in 12 years. Still at Electrek, they report via a paywalled story from the Financial Times that Tesla is seeking out a lithium supply in Chile. You may have seen a few weeks back that Elon paid a visit to the country, and if a high-level executive from a Chilean company can be believed, that visit has borne fruit. Eduardo Betran, executive vice president of Corfo, a Chilean development agency, says that our favorite EV manufacturer is in talks with a company called SQM, which is Chile's largest lithium provider. Quote, With an increasing supply of lithium, Chile is key for any company that wants to become global in electromobility. Being close to Chile or having a strategic alliance in Chile becomes a strategic factor for a company like Tesla, end quote. Bitron says that there could even be plans to build, quote, a processing plant in Chile to produce the high-quality lithium it needs for its batteries, end quote. While Tesla publicly stated in January last year that it had enough lithium to satisfy its needs through the end of last year, no new announcement has been made now that the company is on the hook for some 400,000 cars that need built. This may not be anything that ends up being shouted from the rooftops, as an agreement for something like this is a low-key business deal for most companies. But, as we all know, Tesla isn't most companies and operates under amazing levels of scrutiny. If anything comes up, I'll bring it your way. Finally tonight, from the Twitter account of Elon Musk, we get word that Teslas will be picking up a long-requested feature that many non-luxury cars even have on occasion. While the cars themselves make next to no noise when cruising down the road, the wind and road have something to say about this. And in a near-silent cabin while trying to listen to any kind of media, those factors equate to a lot of fiddling with the volume knob on some occasions. Twitter user at Joseph Huberman was lucky enough to catch Elon's eye mentioning the topic, and he got another of Elon's responses saying the feature was quote coming soon end quote can't come fast enough for this owner as this has always been a minor annoyance for me can't wait to see it fixed make sure you check out the links to the full stories in the show description while you're at it check out the patreon at patreon.com slash tesla tidbits thanks very much to the super patrons supporting the show at the ten dollar plus level they're john waltower drew schuyler john waller mark and sarah thomas ryan scarborough lee sweet william henry crew the third dorian steve guberman bruno quindici john rich joey boots ralph and cheryl waterhouse and adam raymer brown If you can't support with dollars, be sure to show your love with positive reviews and subscriptions on YouTube, iTunes, and other services across the internet, or use the show referral code ts.la slash jon4602 if you're in the market for a new Tesla. It's good for free supercharging for the life of the vehicle, and ends the day after this show airs. That's it for today. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits and use the hashtag AskTeslaTidbits if you'd like your question to be considered for the show. I'll see everyone back here again tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.